In fact, we can place them on a continuum. At one end are the completely non-polar covalent bonds between two identical atoms. And then as we increase the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms, we form slightly polar bonds and then very polar bonds. And then if we keep going, we eventually get to the point where instead of just hogging a larger share of the electron density, the more electronegative atom actually co-opts a whole electron from the other atom. And then we're forming ionic bonds. Okay, so far we've just been looking at individual bonds, but where we're heading with this is to look at whole molecules. And so far, the only kind of molecule we can deal with are diatomics, which aren't very interesting. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to add bond dipoles in order to find out what the dipole is for an entire molecule.